You go in there, squeeze the trigger, a bunch of smoke. Wow, it smells like victory. The A-10 Warthog can fly with one engine, one elevator, half of its tail, and half of a wing all missing. The aircraft simply cannot be shot down, and that's one reason it has stayed in service for almost half a century. It's also why, after Russia invaded Ukraine, the A-10 Warthog was the one aircraft called by Ukraine's defense minister to save the country. However, despite already being lethal to taste, the A-10 is constantly upgraded with new capabilities to become even more decisive in high-end conflicts, especially with China's military might constantly on the rise. So in this video, we'll be discussing everything there is to know about the lethal masterpiece that is the A-10 Warthog, a true innovation and symbol of American superior air power. The A-10 Warthog is the only American fighter in history built from the ground up to deliver close air support to troops on the ground. So understandably, it is the best at what it does. And if awards were given to aircraft for exceptional performance, the A-10 Warthog would have a full shelf. It does, however, have something even more valuable than that, a loyal fan base that includes military enthusiasts, civilians, and even members of Congress, many of whom are veterans. In addition to their limitless courage and bravery, many veterans are alive today to smell their flowers thanks to the Warthog. For them, the Warthog's zipper sound was almost more beautiful to their ears than a Disney soundtrack could ever be. Because with that sound came a life-saving downpour of bullets the size of beer bottles on surrounding opposition forces, and with enough precision to keep collateral damage at a minimum. These bullets could tear through heavy armor like paper, a fact that opposition parties would learn a little too late, 32 years ago during the Gulf War. By the end of the war, the deployed A-10s had flown 8,100 sorties, destroyed over 2,000 tanks, artillery, helicopters, and other vehicles, launched 90% of the AGM-65 Maverick missiles fired in the conflict, and achieved a mission-capable rate of 95.7%. The Warthog was a grade-A student and teacher, with stellar performances every time it took to the sky. It truly was a lethal air beast. Packed with an offense suite that enables it to drill holes in metal faster than a caterpillar drill, a defense armor that gives it more lives than a cat, and an avionics suite that makes it intelligent enough to be mistaken for a product of Tesla, the A-10 is the one attack aircraft that's never out of place in any mission. To be as lethal as it is, the aircraft was built around its main weapon, the 30X-173mm GAU-8 Gatling-style Avenger autocannon, which was developed specifically for the Warthog. The GAU-8 has a high muzzle velocity and a super high rate of fire that enables the cannon to fire 3,900 large depleted uranium armor-piercing shell rounds every minute. In addition to the autocannon, the A-10 is armed with the AGM-65 Maverick air-to-surface missile. Targeted using electro-optics and infrared, the Maverick allows target engagement at much greater ranges than the cannon, and thus results in less risk from anti-aircraft systems for the A-10. In addition to these weapons, the A-10 wields a plethora of newer weapons including cluster bombs, Hydra-70 rockets, GPS and laser-guided bombs such as the GBU-39 small-diameter bomb, Paveway series bombs, Joint Direct Attack Munitions, Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser, AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon Glide Bombs, and AIM-9 Sidewinder Air-to-Air -air Missiles. The A-10 backs this impressive offense with just as impressive defense. After all, being so close to the battlefield grounds is sure to attract constant fire from anyone and anything that's got a weapon. To handle this fire, the A-10 features 1,200 pounds of titanium aircraft armor, whose interior surface that's directly exposed to the pilot is covered by a multi-layer nylon spall shield to protect against shell fragmentation. This enables the A-10 and its pilot to survive direct hits from 23mm cannon fire, 57mm shell fragments, highly explosive explosives, and armor-piercing projectiles. The aircraft also features double-redundant hydraulic flight systems and a mechanical system as backup in case hydraulics are lost. The result is an A-10 that remains flying even with half of all its parts shot off. However, being hit isn't the most common thing in the world for the A-10 thanks to an intelligent avionics suite that enables the aircraft to pick up threats far sooner than threats can spot it, allowing for the American aircraft to shoot and kill first. 
Still, despite all of these capabilities, the modern battlefield has evolved from the days of the original A-10. Today, it would take a lot more than the aforementioned capabilities for an aircraft to be dominant on the battlefield. And this is why the A-10 is being heavily upgraded to fit in perfectly to the modern-day battlefield. The A-10 is being pampered to four different suites of upgrades to transform the aircraft from the lethal air beast it is now into the thing that beasts fear. We'll now take a look at these suites of upgrades, known as Suite 8 all the way through to Suite 11. Suite 8 The radical change of the A-10 Warthog began with the Suite 8 upgrades. This came with V-12 lightweight airborne recovery systems installed into the aircraft's center interface control unit. And following this installation was significantly more effective communication between A-10 pilots and personnel on the ground, such as pararescue men and pilots whose planes had been shot down. Suite 8 also came with longer-ranging standoff weapons such as the AGR-20 Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System rockets that load four times faster than their predecessor. This canceled out the dangerous need for A-10s to fly in the face of danger before taking a shot, and it also made up for the A-10's lack of the super maneuverability of supersonic combat jets like the F-35. The effect of this upgrade rippled all the way to tactics employed with the A-10 by leveraging the combination of the Warthog's night vision goggles and new weapons at its disposal. Suite 9 Suite 9 took off with the integration of a situational awareness pad into the operational flight program of the Warthog. This enabled Joint Terminal Attack Controllers, or JTACs, to digitally report their positions, a significant leap from requiring pilots to search for them on the ground where they could easily be camouflaged by dust. And solving more camouflaging and targeting issues, the A-10 could now validate targets to prevent accidentally taking aim at friendlies with its shiny new Suite 8 weapons in the heat of the moment, which is really every moment on a battlefield. With this assurance that friendlies are out of the line of fire, the A-10 was enabled to, at the push of a single button, simultaneously engage up to six targets at a time with a cocktail of different precision-guided munitions from the 500-pound class GBU-38 explosives through to the 2,000-pound class GBU-31 Joint Direct Attack munitions, all set for their respective successful explosive journeys thanks to pinpoint accuracy capabilities. The precision of these explosives was then enhanced by the gift of more accurate responses to pilot head movements from another Suite 9 feature, the hybrid optical-based internal tracker high-tech helmets. Suite 10 With the advent of smart bomb technology taking off, the Suite 10 upgrades of the A-10 came with full integration of laser-guided AGR-20 Advanced Precision Kill Weapon Systems, GBU-31 JDAM guidance kits for converting unguided bombs into all-weather smart bombs, and small diameter bombs with advanced multi-target engagement capability that would see the Warthog able to take out 18 different targets at once, and with much higher accuracy too. And thanks to not only the JDAM guidance and smartness of the new bombs, but also due to the A-10's new synthetic aperture radar pod that would have the aircraft aiming like a sniper as it cuts through the air with brand new wings from Boeing that cost over $1.1 billion. Suite 10 then rounded up its showers on the A-10 with a data link that allows threat information to be shared efficiently between A-10 pilots, resulting in increased spatial, battlefield, and situational awareness. All important ingredients for survivability, and so addresses the survivability fears of the Air Force leaders regarding the Warthog, at least significantly. Suite 11 Suite 11 was designed to upgrade the A-10 to as close to fifth-generation aircraft as possible. Now, of course, nothing could be done economically to reshape the aircraft to look more sleek and stealthy as the F-35, but in terms of the avionics, there were changes. Suite 11 focused on the most significant modernization of the A-10's cockpit since 2005, a digital primary display in the form of the new 11.6-inch 1920x1080 pixel multifunction color display high-resolution display system, or HDRS. The HDRS would pamper pilots with cinema-level quality of targeting pod footage and an advanced map engine to enhance target correlation with the battlefield. Then following the HDRS was the introduction of jam-resistant GPS, a three-dimensional surround sound system, the ARC-210 radio, and agile development methodologies that bring all these upgrades to life while allowing for rapid enhancement updates to take place should a suite 12 of upgrades ever need to happen. 
All of these upgrades and capabilities, spread across suites, tuxedos, or blazers if you like, are what the A-10 offers to the battlefield today. The irreplaceable A-10 Warthog became even more irreplaceable. It is an aircraft that ages like fine wine and will therefore likely remain in service for a long time. It could remain even longer if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now for the A-10 Warthog. Thanks for watching.